So the question has been how to get a good setup going for basic restreaming. Now there are various ways around here that around the community that we've done do this. Chanigan has layouts that he's going to show off in a addition to this video uh, for the setups that he's the layouts he's already set up that will run certain things and do things specifically if you just want to like drop something in and create a working layout immediately. However, what we're going to do today is go over the whole of everything if you want to make something from scratch and have them just work properly. So what we're going to do, you can see I have right here a whole setup for like everything. I have a reveal stream, two player, three player, four player, five player, bingo, co-op, eight player, marathon, a bunch of stupid stuff that I've done based on things that we've done in the past that needed to be done and taken care of. Now, you don't have to do all of these things. I just like to have things sized a certain way so that when I click onto one of them and then tell the layout that we use through the ADR bingo system, because it's all built on his bingo system, uh, that I want to use the four player layout. Everything that I've done just automatically sizes properly for my various elements and it works really well. So let's say you want to set up something like that. You want to say do a two player layout right off the bat. So we're going to make a new layout. We're going to be new 2P layout. Call it what you will. I'm just calling it this for the example. And do that. Hello. So the first thing you're going to want to do before beyond having any new layout set up is that you need to have OBS set up not to go to uh, your personal stream, but you need to have it go to the stream that you're going to be broadcasting out to. So we're going to go over here, File Menu, which you can see, uh, Settings. I believe that's the first thing we do. No, so we go into that in a second. I'm sorry. Profile, and then you'd make a new profile. So we'll go... Yep. Again, call it what you will when you're actually doing it. Um, and optimize for streaming, recording a secondary. Uh, it's fine. These are all things that I haven't actually seen before. Uh, base canvas resolution, we're going to want to go to streaming. Like You only need to stream at 1280 by 720 for broadcast streams, going to other channels, so forth and so on. In fact, speed gaming, RPG limit break, all of those ask that we don't stream at larger than 720p, the 1280 by 720. So go to 1280 by 720. Uh, frames per second, Twitch doesn't do better than 30 normally, do 30. Force it to 30, force it to that. Uh, service Twitch, use stream key, we'll use a stream key. I'm just going to type Galdi because it doesn't matter. Because uh, we're not actually having a proper stream key. If you're streaming to FFR, for example, we'll give you a stream key tied to your personal account. If you're streaming to RPG Limit Break, they'll get a stream key for you tied to you personally. That's the general standard. And if you're doing uh, speed gaming, speed gaming has its own bots and you don't even have to do this setup to begin with. You're not going to be the restreamer. So, next. Setup, apply. I don't care. Cancel. No. Apply something. It's not going to let me do this without a stream key, is it? Can you stop? Anyway, that's what you do. We've covered it. I don't... There we go. And actually, it says it's on temp, so yay, that worked. <laughs> it's not going to work, but it worked. Settings. So, and then you can just go into settings to double check things. Twitch, stream key. It needs a stream key. It's being grousy at me. Uh, video bitrate, I believe you can actually set down to 1500. I think that's what most people use for a stream. That'll be just fine. Audio bitrate's fine. Audio, uh, I have my desktop audio disabled. We're going to go into more detail on that. I have my personal microphone that I normally use for stuff set up. This is the thing, settings I like. And video, base canvas needs to be 12 by 720. Please stop doing anything else other than that. Thank you. Apply. Okay. We're good. Done. So that is a setup. We now have a blank canvas. We now have the profile set up. Everything is good to go from here. What do we do from this point forward? Well, first thing you need to do is you need to get your, uh, sorry, brain locked for a second, your layout. So we use, as I said, the ADR layouts. Let me bring this up. Trekker. I just typed that and it automatically is because I do hits here all the time. So we have tracker rooms through the ADR, Adam Rupp. He, it's his name. He says it. Uh, server. This is actually technically built on the bingo setup. So if we just take all of that off, I believe it'll go straight to the bingo website. And you can see all the active rooms people had that they probably need to delete at this point because they're closed. But, but if we go back and we hit here, you will see we have a tracker layout. Now, the thing about the ADR setup, if we take that exact same address and go layout, if I type right, layout, plop, 
it'll show you the thing that you have. So this is this with the loading screen set up because it says show loading screen. We actually have a third option you can do, and I need to go copy this from my setup uh, because uh, I don't have the... I, I try to memorize exactly what we're supposed to have it written as, but I never memorize it properly. Uh, not that one. Uh, here it is. So there's a version of this you can do where you don't ever see the uh, loading screen because ADR is a wizard. Um, and this is going to be the same thing. I, room one, please, because we're on room one for the others. Layout, question mark, skip overlays equals true. Make sure you write it exactly like that or, you know, it's right there. So copy that, write it in exactly as it is. If you have one single typo, will not work. But skip overlays true, enter, loading screen doesn't come up. It's the exact same thing just without the loading screen. It's brilliant. I'm not gonna make a bunch of changes here, but this is how you have this set up. This is actually set up for the race earlier. So we can go into here, and if we go, oh, uh, display capture, oh, it's still display capture. So if we go in here and we say, you know, we wanna show, instead of the two player, we wanna show the four player. It's on three player, you will notice. Make sure you click on showing four player, and the fourth player bops in. Now, the thing is, this is actually set up to run everything that we do, marathons and everything else. You can do whatever you want. So you'll see you can switch to various other items. Area of Sorrow, Chrono Trigger, uh, Mystic Quest, because he built this for Mystic Quest first before even building it for FFR. Uh, and you can see each of those ones set up, shows up and drops in here. Now, not some of them are uh, set up for a horizontal layout instead of vertical, so it doesn't quite look right, but that's besides the point. This thing can handle pretty much anything you throw at it. Uh, with few issues, and if you find an issue, we let ADR know, ADR fix it. Easy. Uh, but setup. Right now, we're talking about FFR, though, because you're going to be streaming FFR. I'll just put these back to FFR. I just wanted to show that off. Uh, all the things that you need to do within here, show the winner, show the final time if you want. If you delete it, it just shows the time that's on the clock. All those kinds of things controlled through this tracker layout. Very easy to use, very simple, very set up. So we're on four player. We want to do a two player layout though. So I'm going to switch this back to two player, which is down here. Two P. You can, and the thing is, you can, any of these will work as a layout. We're in winter tournament right now. So I'm just going to show winter tournament. And it also can put any logo from the system on there separately. Sometimes there's an issue with one of the layouts, the logo doesn't work right. You can just go to a default one like FFR. It'll work fine. Thankfully, winter tournament's working just fine right now. Don't have to have that problem. Two player layout, good to go here. Now, you will note there's a huge white box around this right now, and that's because we're actually looking at the browser. We're not looking at OBS. I just needed to show you what's going on here. So we take the overlay, skip overlays true, go back into OBS. There's the one I want. So we'll add a layer, and we'll add a browser capture. Browser, right there. Give it the, uh, this is going to be ADR layout. I'm just going to call it that. It, I don't want to conflict with layouts I already have because you can't name two things in OBS the exact same thing unless you're pasting a reference. It's confusing. We'll get to that. Uh, but I just need this to be different from everything I already have currently in my system. So I could actually add in an existing, but I want to show you this right now. So there we go. Uh, 1280, 720. So it fills the whole layout. And give it the browser that we have right there. Skip, overlays true. OK, pop. And OBS is being done. Okay, well, that's how you do it. We're just going to go copy one of the ones I already have because this is being silly. Sometimes OBS does this. Uh, if you run into this where you pop something in, the browser is right, it doesn't work, and it's not showing what it's supposed to, even though you know it should. Sometimes you got to close OBS, reopen OBS, it'll refresh and reload. I have that problem. ADR assures me the browser, the, the layouts will refresh, so it's not on ADS, ADR side. This is entirely sometimes OBS being dumb. So let's just add in a browser capture that I already have, uh, since you can do that. Uh, at existing, we have, I called it co-op layout loading. That's the loading screen version. Pop. Uh, and it's not showing the brown. <laughs> it's not showing up the loading screen because OBS hates me. Oh my God. Why does this always happen? Anyway, browser. Let's add a second browser capture. I do too, because I like to have both a loading version and a non-loading version. So we'll go like that. So your properties, you are, skip overlays true. Oh. You both skip overlays true? No, you're regular. You should be loading just fine, and you're not, because OBS hates me. This is what I'm saying. Anyway, 
So the reason I set both of these up this way, and actually I can show you on this version, uh, is so that, or I can't because now it doesn't want to do it for either of them. Lovely, gotta, gotta love OBS, thank you. Okay, the reason I do it this way, and it would be nice if OBS would show it, but I showed you that you have both the loading screen and the not loading screen version. If you have a loading screen version that you can reference, uh, you can then tell it to be on top, top layer, which you see I have two layers right here. Uh, top layer has the loading, and then once you're ready to turn, take the loading screen down, instead of doing the checkbox in the thing, you can just click this. Now, you could just do the checkbox, but I like to be able to do it without having the tracker people behind me, or if someone clicks off the loading button, then it screws something up or so forth. I don't want any of that. I want the loading screen to just be there. So, I just have a layer set up, it's good to go, it's working, nothing to worry about. Uh, that takes care of that right there. Someone can't turn it on, someone can't turn it off. I have it under my exact control for the layout when I need it. But this is only takes the first step. This just gets us our layout in here, which is, as you can see, preloaded with some stuff that we already have going on. Uh, the next thing we're going to want to do, and you can see it's actually running because this, this one is actively in use. Interesting. Uh, the next thing we're going to want to do is we're going to want to bring game footage in there. So we do game footage in. That means you're going to need to have Streamlink set up. This is the Streamlink GUI that we have set up. You need to go through that document that we have. I believe it's the random media details on how to set up all these things. Streamlink, Streamlink GUI, VLC. You just got to have all that set up, and you got to set it up in the order that it tells you to do it. Because if you set it up in the wrong order, it doesn't work right. So, But once you have it all set up, you'll have it. You'll have this. It'll work just fine. Now, let's pretend that we're doing setting up something. Um, no one that I know is streaming right now. Cool. Well, it says Shoom Bobby and DM Stewart are. I just, for some reason, haven't followed them right now. So let's go with Shoom Bobby. Load them. Load them. And there we go. They are running right now. Hello. So we'll pull in the stream Shoom Bobby, and this is what you're going to see when this loads. The whole big rigmarole. Launch, setting up, launching, pulling it in. Set up, good to go. Shoom. Now, sometimes, oh, you're going to get this. I want to show this. Sometimes you're going to get this from Amazon. It's good to mute <laughs> so you don't have to listen to the music, especially if you're doing this live on the fly like I've had to do once in a while. Maybe someone's stream crashed and you have to reload it back in. There you go. Now he's working. Adjust the audio so it's not too loud. Just like that. Uh, and actually, you guys can't hear the audio. I need to add that in. Hold on one second. So we'll go to... Uh, well, first I have to add it over here on the thing you can't see that's recording this whole thing. Um, ba -do -ba -do -ba -do, audio capture. Okay. And default use L. Or, I'm learning this on the fly. Yes. And audio input, cap audio output capture, audio output capture. No. Sorry. There we go. That's it right there. We're going to get that set up. There we go. So, what you have to do... Now, there's a couple of different ways you can do this, and you can set some stuff up. Uh, you can set it to a capture from a specific device, a specific whatever. You can set it to capture from various things. We're going to do audio output, I believe, output capture. We're, huh, hope I'm not wrong. Well, well, I don't know if that's right. I mean, it worked for what I'm streaming, but let's, let's go over things. So you have an input capture. Create the input capture. This is going to point to your microphones. So I could just set that up for here. Now, depending upon how you have it set up, it's already set up for you, whatever you might do, but this is how you can add a microphone. If you do an output capture, audio output capture, like this, create audio output capture, okay. Uh, and then default, and you can set various things. You can set speakers and have it pull all your speakers in or one of the other things that you do. Um, thing is, I'm not seeing all the stuff that I want for this. So here, I'm gonna, Mute that. Mute that. There we go. Uh, properties. Yeah, I'm not getting everything that you're supposed to see. There's supposed to be a way to do advanced properties on this. And I'm not seeing the things I want to see for this. So we're going to have to have someone do a video on getting the proper audio going. Because I'm not seeing this right now. And that is a whole 
other deal that needs to be done. Um, because without, like, that working, that's another matter altogether. But let's just say you have basic audio set up for something or other. We'll get audio cables and the various things that OBS can do later covered another time. So, let's remove these for right now so I'm not screwing up the OBS I'm trying to work with. Thank you. Get rid of that too. Come on. Thank you. Okay. So, with that set up and your audio going, presumably, uh, you then have get uh, the game running. So, and you, one of them you're going to want audio from. I'm going to turn this down just a little further. One of them you're going to want audio from. The other one you're not. So, we need to add in this video behind the layout. First step to do that is you go with a window capture. Because you have the VLC window open. And you go, uh, let's make this 1P stream. Make, again, you have to rename everything specifically. We got Shoom Bobby because it automatically saw that was the first thing I had available. Uh, uh, capture uh, method automatic. Make sure you set window title must match. This is key for something we'll do in a second. Turn off capture cursor because you don't want your cursor showing up when you're like doing stuff with it. And click OK. Now, then we need to crop. So here is how you crop. You've got this. You can take Alt, and Alt will allow you to crop around and drag the bounding box closer to the video. And we want that, because we don't need everything from Shoom Bobby's layout. It's a nice layout. We don't need it. There you go. Pull into the other side. Red means you're at the edge. So we don't need to go any further on that side, because he has his video right, his video game right up to the edge. And there is that. So now we set it to the box. It can be a little larger than the box, but we'll set it to the box. Oh, and then the next thing you do, shift. Like, if you just go normally, it will just stretch proportionally. If you do shift and then click... You can set it to anything you want. And OBS is being weird because now it's lost my crop. Oh, it's because I cropped him poorly. I cropped to what I thought it was and not his layout. Okay, recrop. Recrop. This happens sometimes. If they have their layout set and the, the obvious area is not the actual game area, sometimes you may have to recrop on the fly. Don't worry about it. It's nothing to stress about. This happens. Shift, grab, pull, set to the size of the box, voila. My my preference is to set a little larger, by a pixel or two if you can, than the box you're putting it into. And the reason for that is, you will note, we have a white border around this side. We have no border showing around this side because the video is there. However, ADR's layout, as you might have noticed, is white here instead of the black you're seeing. That's because ADR's bounding boxes for the windows are transparent. So if we take this and we drag it down below, or to do another way... If we take this and use the arrows, and use the arrows to go plop, plop, now it's behind the layout, and it actually, you can see, looks like it fits perfectly within. Lock it, because you're not going to touch it again right now, and you're good to go on that. We need now a second stream. Let's come back over here. Shumbabi is racing DM Stewart tonight. DM Stu. Good enough. The M. Stewart. There he is. Play. Looks like DM Stewart was last in Marsh Cave that Streamlink knew about. I'm gonna mute DM Stewart. Here he is. He was on my other desktop, so I'm pulling him over. And we will do the same thing. Uh, window capture. Uh, 2P stream, just for the sake of this. DM Stewart, automatic. Window title must match. Turn off cursor. Click OK. Voila, we have him. Uh, and I'm sure his game video is not going to be exactly right. But we're going to try cropping just to this and see how it looks once he gets to the overworld. Or a dungeon or something. Alt. Clicked. Done. Perfect crop. Shift. Pull in. Shift. Pull in. And done. Lock. Move down. Excuse you. Move down. Under layout. Lock. Good to go. Done. So that's the, both of them cropped. Now, there are still some things you can do here for the sake of professionalism, which every once in a while, create well, but every once in a while I aspire to. So let's add in an image. The image we're going to add in, end scene. I like to grab, well, it's really the bridge scene, but I call it the end scene. I like to add in the Final Fantasy credit scene. Uh, bridge, there it is. This right here. Recognizable, everyone knows it. There it is. So you'll see it's there. We drop it here. We set this to here. 
and it's now sized. Copy, and you can paste a reference of it, and it will do the exact same one, and you just drag that one over, set it to that box, more or less, voila, lock, lock, and now we've got, oops, that's not quite where I want it. You can also use the arrows to position on a more fine-grained basis. Uh, lock, and we're now set with those, and you'll see they're above the layout. So we then take, drag, drop, and we're going to put them behind the one and two P-streams right there. And now we have them. So what? why did I do this? What was the point of this? Let's say Shoom Bobby cuts his stream. Now you have the loading screen behind the layout. Good to go. It looks nice. It's set up. You can tell. When he wins, it'll mark. We have the tra tracker can say it marked the winner. It's good. It will load up over top. Over top, importantly, of everything here because it's controlled by the layout you want your video your game video you want your images you want everything else that's that might overlap otherwise to be under the layout under adr setup so that then everything that's inside adr setup can overlap if need be winner for example is going to will actually pop up like right here as a title box and if your vi game video is over top of that it's going to cut off the winner thing so make sure all your crap is under adr's layout most important um the other re things that we did here, just to go back to this, window title must match. If you have it to say window title, otherwise find window of the same type, that means that if Shoom Bobby finishes, Shoom Bobby cuts stream at some point, DM Stewart's still going, DM Stewart's video will be duplicated over here and will look bad. Don't do that. So, with that set up, we now can be like, oh, look, this is all set and working and it's good to go. And you have Shoom Bobby and you have DM Stewart and we're running. And the game is going and everyone's happy. And then all you got to do is keep an eye on it. Uh, other things that you're going to want to do. I'm going to stop these guys at this point. I don't need them now. Oh, you see, I cut stream. He's fine. Cut stream. We're good. Loading. Everything's set to roll. You can even turn the loading back on, but it's not going to load because OBS hates me right now. Uh, normally it works. Trust me on this. So, other things you're going to want to do. You're going to be in Discord. You're going to have stuff set up. Uh, so... Uh, we can see we're discussing audio cables over here right now because I was getting ready to work with this video and I can't get things working. I'll have to talk to Shanigan because he says that there's options you can set that I'm not seeing that should make things work. We're not going to worry about that right now. That's a additional video we'll go over in a bit. And then I'll get to learn something. Um, but when you're, in the, when you're in the booth, let's go say that we're in a booth. So broadcast booth over here. I'm going to go jump in five. Pop! Look, I'm there. I'm glowing. I'm talking. It's excellent. Um... When you have other people in the booth, you're going to chat with them. They're going to be like, okay, you want, um, runners are going, we're live, we're set up in OBS, and everyone is muted right now. And you'd have other audio streams here that would show their game audio, the mics, everything. You just mute everything. But you might have some music for the setup going. We'll talk about that when we talk about audio cables. Uh, you might have the music for the setup going, so you'd have an audio bar just of the music. Uh, you'll be streaming at that point with the loading screen that won't work for me right now up and just music playing in the background so it sounds like a nice professional stream excellent um but you're going to be muted you're going to be chatting with the people in the booth that's not going to come across over on the stream so you're talking about stuff blah 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 blah. everything's good to go we're fine uh at a certain point you're going to be talking to me like okay runners are going you've got 10 minutes until the, because they're on a 10 minute delay usually you're on a delay they're on a 10 minute delay so we won't see them for another 10 minutes go live uh, what time do you guys want to go live? Usually it's three or four minutes before. So let's say that the stream, the game started at 9 p.m. Stream will be live at 9.10. That's their stream, the game streams. Uh, you already have the loading screen up on whatever channel you're broadcasting with uh, just music coming over. Uh, that means that they will be ready to go uh, live with the broadcast at 9.06. So what do you do at that point? Well, what you're going to do is, if the loading screen was working... You'd come in here maybe 30 seconds to a minute beforehand, and you'd turn the loading screen off. Uh, you'd let them know loading screen is off. Uh, you guys are still muted. We're good to go in one minute. Uh, right before they go, they'll be like, okay, you guys ready to roll? They'll be like, yeah, we're good to go. Be like, cool. Okay. So then you will come over here. Uh, you're going to like be turn, off, turn down the music that you have playing in the background. You're going to turn up the game audio that you had set up. Uh, and make sure everyone is set up with their the things that should be unmuted here. And you'll tell the booth five, four, three. And at this point, you should click their microphone audio stream uh, to turn it on. Two, 
one, go. And at that point, they will probably take a beat or two to make sure that everything's fine on the other end. Uh, and then they will start talking, and the stream will go, and huzzah, you are now restreaming. At that point, you get to kick back, keep an eye on things, and make sure nothing explodes. Your job having been done. Until stream is over, which at that point, when they get into interviews, you're going to want to turn the loading screen that I can't get to load right now back on because they're done. You don't need to be looking at all this crap anymore. Uh, turn the loading screen back on. Let them do their interviews. Uh, they'll do everything. Interview with the players. Blah, 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 blah. Final thoughts. Blah, 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 blah. If you're more interested in anything else that's going on here, come to FinalFantasyRandomizer.com. Blah, 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 blah. Uh, and with that, we're going to say good night. Let your... Uh, if you have... If you've been using your... Oh... When they go to interviews and the game streams are done, make sure you turn some music on. So let's go over all that again. Street, they're done playing. You click the loading screen. You turn your music back on. Important step I forgot to mention. Sorry about that. Then they do their interviews, all the blah, blah, blahs. Thanks, you guys, for watching. Good night. Let your stream, let your music play a little longer because Danny's like Danny needs a little extra time at the end for cropping and because Twitch will sometimes cut early if you cut as soon as they're done talking. So let it play for like 5, 10 seconds. Usually I wait till a nice break point in whatever music I have playing in the background. And then click stop stream, which will be over here with the start stream. Click stop stream, and you're good to go. And voila, stream is over. And you can let everyone know at that point, we're clear. And then they'll be like, yay, thanks for streaming, blah, blah, blah. And then everyone will go their separate ways. That's it. That's restreaming. Hope that was helpful.